What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Mika Stay Fly, and I want to pop in and say welcome to me, Bill. So, I'm really excited about today's video because I came up with an idea. So, I've been um, kind of working on like my self-care routine and just kind of like I'm in a constant state of just kind of revamping myself and doing different things to help me um, continue to grow into the woman that I want to be. And so um, in doing so, one of my goals have been to start to do things that will um, help me to enhance or embrace um, my femininity. Now, just stick with me because I feel like femininity nowadays, especially in the YouTube world um, and in the world of social media, is kind of like a, a buzzword and it can be triggering for some people. So, let me just back up, rock with me. All right. So, let me just explain something about myself. Um, I am one of four of my mother's children. I am also the only girl. I am number three. So I have two older brothers and one younger brother. Um, with that being said, I have always been around, like I've always had um, just male energy around me as far as like my first best friends were my brothers, obviously. And so for that reason, I think that that had a lot of a lot to do with kind of just building um, my personality and um, some of my character traits, which happen to be, you know, um, I'm just a real fun girl. Like, I love having fun. I love laughing. I love, you know, a big, hearty, knee slap type of laugh. You know what I mean? I love, you know, just kind of being loud and, and boisterous and um, just... You know, that's that's just my thing. Like, I just, you know, and for that reason, um, I, you know, growing up, I, I don't know if I consider myself a tomboy because I've always loved things. I've always loved girly things. I've always loved um, looking pretty. I've always loved getting my hair done. I've always, I've always loved hair, always loved, um, you know, dressing and, you know, things of that nature. So... On that aspect, I've always embraced um, things that would be considered girly or feminine or what, whatever words you choose to use. But um, at the same time, it's never been nothing for me to just kick it with the boys. You know what I mean? It's never been. I've always been comfortable around um, just hanging, hanging around the guys. And um, I've never been one to carry um traits that were like um uber, like even even in dressing and doing hair and stuff um and having my makeup glammed up i've still been one that could just kick back you know and, and kick it with the boys i've never had really like um prissy or dainty qualities about myself and y'all forgive me if any of the words that i'm using are you know triggering or are offensive to you i'm just trying to paint the picture you know what i mean i've never really had that mindset i mean not that mindset but those characteristics i've always been even in relationships you know what i mean it's always been kind of like i'm like the the roundaway girl I'm like the best friend. I'm like the girl that can kick it. You know what I'm saying? We can kick back and laugh. Um, I'm, I've never been embarrassed or ashamed to like, uh, I don't know if we drinking uh, a soda or something and I need to belch. I'm going to, I mean, I'll say, excuse me, but I'm going to belch. Like I've never been the person to be like, um, excuse me, excuse me. I'm just going to go to the bathroom and you know what I mean? Like no, that's just never been my personality. <laughs> So for that reason, I have been, um, at my big age, I have been seeking different ways to just kind of boost that feminine side of myself, just to kind of um, explore what it would be like to be a little bit more softer and lead with um, those softer qualities. Now, this is going to be a struggle for me because, again, my personality is... Um, you know what I'm saying? 
I like to laugh. If y'all have watched any of my videos, I'm silly. I like to laugh. I like to be goofy. I like to have fun. I don't like to water that side of myself down. Um, but I do want to see what it's like just to kind of just, you know what I'm saying? Just move and operate in that feminine energy. So for that reason, I conducted like a short, um, I wouldn't call it a survey. I just made a post on Facebook and I asked some of my girls on Facebook to tell me what are some things that they do to help boost their femininity outwardly? Um, what are some things that just make them feel ultra feminine? What are some things that just, when they do it, they feel like just a woman's woman? And so I got so many suggestions. Oh, and one of the stipulations was I was given like bonus points for those who could give me answers that did not include um, things that they do for their significant other especially if their significant other is a man. So nothing that is going to like seek the attention of a man or nothing that is, oh, you know, I do this in order to try and, you know what I'm saying, turn my man on or try to get the attention of the men around me because that's not what this is about. That's no shade to the guys, but this journey is about me. This journey is about me feeling like I am the Mika stay fly that I um, strive to be. I have three, three alter egos, y'all. Well, two alter egos. Y'all will learn about them. Y'all will meet them soon. Mika stay fly is one of them. Um, but you guys have not met the Mika stay fly. You know what I mean? Y'all have kind of just seen like bits and pieces of who she is. And who Mika stay fly really is, is like one woman who can, um, who can possess all of those qualities at once. <laughs> so anyway, um, the suggestions that my girls gave were amazing. I was just like, yes, yes, all of this. Like I had one girl who was like, you know, I just kind of just, you know, sometimes get in the mirror and I dance in front of the mirror completely naked. I dance, I twerk, I do sensual dancing, just anything that just makes me feel sexy, anything that makes me feel like a woman. She said, sometimes I will, um, after I get out of the shower, I will massage my body down with like different um, essential oils or whatever, just to kind of unlock that um, level of femininity. I had another person who said, girl, I am obsessed with lingerie. She was like, it is something about just having sexy lingerie or ultra feminine, like a just a new pair of panties. She's like, I'm constantly buying new pairs of panties and new bras and, you know, um, just sexy lingerie. Now, and the thing that I loved about this is that this particular person is a mom and a teacher, you know what I mean? And so that's something that's kind of, my husband is always like, y'all want you to dress a certain way around the house. And I'm always like, let the kids, the kids are like always, they literally follow me around the house. And my children are not, they're what, nine and soon to be 12. So they're not toddlers. So it's not like it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to kind of cover up a certain way, but she, you know what I mean? Her kids are younger than mine, but still, she was like, you know, I, I, I buy myself new panties all the time. I buy myself lingerie and it's just something about nobody's going to see it, but me and my, and my man, but it's just something, it just does something to me when I wear it. Um, one of the other suggestions was uh, my one girl, she's kind of like a semi-athlete. Well, not a semi-athlete. She is an athlete. Like, she was a cheerleader all through high school and college and things of that nature. So, she was like, girl, she was like, I stretch. I have a stretch routine that I do in the morning and in the evening. And it's usually when I get out of the shower, she was like, I stretch and I rub my body down in lotion. And she was like, it's something about that that just makes me, it just awakens the femininity in me. My other girl was like, I do yoni steaming and which shame on me because I have an awesome 
yoni stool. I have my, I have a yoni stool. I have everything that I need to do at home yoni steaming, and I have yet to do that. So um, it's just a lot of different things. What what else would what were some of the other suggestions? My girl, I had one girl who was like, you know what? I've just been boosting up my self care routine. So she was like. I have been stocking up on my um, fragrances. I make sure that I wear a certain fragrance every day. Um, she was like, I make sure that, what else did she say? She like just candles around the house. She's always burning candles. Um, she gets her pedicures on a regular basis. She said that, now this is one thing that stuck out. She was like, I make sure that I have nice things to wear around the house since I'm home most of the time. So with all of that being said, I decided that I was going to take those suggestions. I was already kind of thinking about it, but when I saw that the suggestions were just so amazing, I decided that I was going to take those suggestions and turn them into a 30-day challenge for myself. So I have some things that I personally want to achieve that um, I believe will help me to just awaken, um, to tap more into that feminine side of myself. Um, so I will be incorporating those things, but um, well, I will be including those things, but I'm also going to incorporate the suggestions that my sisters gave me because they are amazing. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me on the journey. So every day, my goal is every day I am going to post some type of video that has something to do with what I'm doing on this um self-care, um, enhancing my femininity journey. Now, again, I know that femininity has just been kind of a thing in social media. Like you either are 100% on board or you're just kind of um, off, you know what I mean? Like just kind of turned off by it. I myself being, you know what I'm saying, the personality that I have and being somewhat of a tomboy, I was kind of giving it, giving up ultra feminine girls. Um, well, not necessarily the girls. It was just when it came from the guys, when they were like, oh, you got to be this way in order to bag a man and ain't don't no man won't. I'm not even going to go there. But I was just kind of like, Ugh. But at the same time, I've always kind of wanted to just I've always kind of looked at those girls who, you know, have always been really um, girly, really dainty, really, you know, soft spoken. And, you know, I've noticed that I, I myself have seen them just be like, it's something about them that's just so beautiful. You know what I mean? And so I've kind of always wanted to tap into that. And like I said, don't get me wrong, y'all. I love dress. I feel like I can style myself to look better than anybody in the room you know what i mean and in those moments i do feel extremely feminine but i still have that um personality where i'm just like ah, i'm just a fun girl you know what i mean and so my goal is to try to incorporate being the fun girl being the person who um likes to laugh and joke around and have fun but still exude femininity I don't know what that's going to look like at all. But what I do know is that I don't plan on changing my personality at all. I don't plan on um, doing things like covering my tattoo. I'm not going to minimize my style or change my style at all. A lot of these stereotypes that some of these feminine gurus put out there, to me, I think is what makes it kind of like off-putting. Like I've seen things like, oh, it's not feminine to have um, bright nails. It's not feminine to have uh, long pointy nails. Your nails need to be short and neatly manicured. It's not feminine to have locks. It's not feminine to have your hair, these bright colors. It's not feminine. Did I say tattoos? It's not feminine to have tattoos. It's not feminine to have nose piercing. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. We're going to do all of this. We're going to include all of this. And we're going to, uh, together, if y'all coming on this journey with me, I am going to learn how to possess all up uh, to to continue to hold on every bit of style that I love 
and incorporate that into being ultra feminine. So, um, yeah, I just want y'all to come along with it. Come along with me on this journey. All right, now this hair. So one of my struggles is my hair. My locks, um, I, I'm kind of in, in, in a stage where I got a love-hate relationship with them. Y'all know my videos about thinning locks. So the last thing I posted was my tips on shampooing my locks. So I just recently shampooed and conditioned my locks, I believe, a week ago. And so they are no longer, um, you know, the roots are a lot puffier. You know what I mean? They're not uh, freshly twisted anymore. Not only that, but y'all see my grades coming through? So my struggle is how do I keep my locks looking? Um, I don't want them to look unkempt and I don't want them to look masculine. You know what I mean? Like, I still want to look like a woman. I still want to look um, like a girly girl with my locks. So, I've been playing around with different hairstyles. Now, when I shampooed it, I plaited it up. And so, that's why you can still see some of the crinkles. Um, so, I want to hold on to my beliefs about not manipulating my locks too much, but I also want to make them look presentable. So I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to get my hair color. I believe I will. So in this 30 day period, you'll probably see me get my hair colored. I'm not going to get it retwisted, not going to do it, but I will get it recolored. I will get my roots touched up. I will do things on a daily basis to keep um keep them keep moisture in them. Don't look at the label. This bottle is generic right now. It just has a concoction of um essential oils, hair, um, water, essential oils, and different like um leave-in conditioners that I mixed up and threw in the bottle. Don't ask me what's in here because I don't know, y'all. I was really threw everything in this bottle, and so I've been using this to spray my locks every day. Um, and then, so I sprayed them before I got on camera and I greased my scalp. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to put anything on my edges. Cause again, y'all, it's about, it's not so much about like the, the outward look. It's about being able to work with, the, with what you have. I don't want to have sleek baby hairs every day. I don't know if that's, you know what I mean? My edges are thin. My edges are thin, so me slathering edge control on them every single day, trying to get the perfect baby hairs may not be the best thing for my locks. So I still want to be able to have non-laid edges and still look feminine. Hence, you know, me playing around with my bang and just kind of doing things like this, just to see what look I can give. Y'all, y'all feeling me? Y'all following me? So, daily things that I will do. Every day, I will make an effort to wear something nice. Even if I go to work, I work in scrubs. So, even in my scrubs, I need to make sure that my scrubs are, you know, ironed and I'm not in my socks match. That's, I'm horrible at having matching socks. I need to make sure that my socks match. Just look presentable. Look presentable to the world. You know what I mean? Look like, oh, now that's a woman. Not, uh, she looked tired and dusty. What's she going, you know what I mean? Like, I, when people see me, I want them to see the person who I know that I am. Like, I want them to see the person who, when I put myself together, um, I own the room. Because I've done that. You know what I'm saying? I have the capability of doing that. I just want to do it every day, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So, it's going to be a struggle because... I dress the way I feel. And so if I'm having a day where I'm just not in the best mental and emotional state, then you'll see me in a hoodie, some sweatpants, um, some socks. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to. So I'm going to work on trying to push myself beyond that and make sure that I look nice every day. I'm going to try to wear something cute every day. Um, PJs. PJs. Having nice. Matching pajamas, it's nothing for me to throw on a t-shirt. 
to sleep in. I've been doing that since I was a little girl. I used to have nightgowns and stuff like that, but I also used to just throw on like a clean t-shirt and some, some gym shorts. Why am I still doing that at my big age? Why don't you have, you know what I'm saying? So I just ordered some new PJs. I plan on going to just get me some loungewear to wear around the house. Um, my perfumes, I've been working on my fragrance collection. So I'm going to make sure that I have on a fragrance every day. I don't think that I'm going to wear makeup every day because I want to take care of my skin. And so I noticed that when I wear makeup consecutively, um, a few days in a row, little pimples pop up. So I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing for my skincare routine. Um, some days you'll see me with makeup, some days you will not. But I promise you, when I get on this camera, I am going to always look presentable. Unless I'm vlogging like a get ready with me type video. And in that case, you'll probably see me with, you know, you'll see me transition from when I first wake up to when I get ready. So... I'm rambling, but yeah, that's the challenge that I have for myself. So today is day one of that challenge. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to do something else with my hair or not, but I kind of like this. I feel like this is giving grown woman, you know what I mean? My hair, my locks are thin, but I feel like I got a little bit of body. I got a little bit of volume. Um, this outfit right here. <laughs> so it's a little, it's a jumper actually. It's it, a romper. It's a romper. I got this from Fashion Nova. I am going to um, just adjust the camera so that y'all can see it a little bit better. Ooh, don't fall. This is not something that I would just wear around the house. As a matter of fact, it's short. It's super short. I just pulled the shorts down. But um, as a matter of fact, I purchased it for the purpose of like, if I go to like a picnic or something, it's like, oh, a picnic or something this summer um and it, it rides up that's kind of how it was i just pulled it down but anyway you know it's a little jumper you know what i mean these i feel like sleeves like this are ultra feminine i feel like this neckline is ultra feminine you know what i mean um you can either wear it down if you have the right undergarment I don't, so I'm wearing it up on my shoulder. Um, so this is how I'm, uh, this is how I'm walking around the house today. You know what I mean? I ain't got nowhere to go, but if I do, I'll be ready. And if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And then I got on my little Tory Burch um, flip flops. So yeah, that's this is day one of my feminine journey challenge or whatever challenge I'm gonna call it. Y'all see it in the title. Um, yeah, I'm kind of digging my hair. That's why I keep playing with it. So on my first lock journey, I never wore a bang. My hair was always like this. I was always giving forehead, but I think since my hairline is a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of receding on the air and, 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 and it's, it's kind of pushing back. You know what I mean? I like to cover it. <laughs> I like to cover it up. See, that's that tomboy coming out. That's that comedian coming out. So yeah, I like to um, I like to kind of wear a bang, and I feel like that's cute. Another thing I've been trying to embrace, even though I'm going to the gym, I have started going to the gym. Yesterday was my first day, so that's another thing I'm planning on working out on a regular basis. But um, I'm trying to embrace my little. I got a good. She can't stay. But while she here, I'm trying to embrace her. You know what I mean? It's giving wrong woman. <laughs> All right. With that being said, y'all, deuces. Let me know if y'all going to come on this journey with me. I hope I kind of broke everything down and explained it the way that I intended to. Um, but if y'all have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Deuces. Yeah.